As any detective will tell you, the work is often far from glamorous. Yevgenia is no detective in the true sense. She's an environmental activist for Greenpeace. Still, she's on the hunt for evidence and she's finding it. The cover-up Yevgenia is investigating hasn't been particularly thorough. The company brings the amount of fresh sand or soil and just cover the entire oil spill under the layer of the fresh soil. On June 23rd, an unknown amount of crude oil burst into the flooded Ugansk Ob River in western Siberia and a slick spread out across the floodplain. Uh, Ugansk Nefti Gas and Rosneft Company announced that they spilled only 450 kilos of oil. But we can see all over the traces of the oil all over and even uh, on that bank of the small part of the river. So we see that 450 kilos cannot pollute such a great, such a big area. As the oil spread across the landscape, Neftyugansk residents started posting pictures of black water gushing from their taps and animals coated in crude. A month and a half later, they're still tallying up the damage. We lost everything that was here, potatoes, carrots, onions. We were promised that they were going to replace the soil. But what about the food? There's a winter to live through. We just don't know how bad this spill is compared to other Russian spills because the data just isn't published, not the amount of oil that's leaked, nor the amount of land that's polluted. The only data we do have is the number of pipeline ruptures. 12,000 in 2013, that's an average of 32 every day. Russia's environmental watchdog has moved to investigate this leak and several executives at the local subsidiary of state oil giant Rosneft have lost their jobs. But the root of the problem is Russia's ageing oil infrastructure. Modernising it is costly, so every year millions of tonnes of crude are spilled largely unpunished, and fines, if they are ever given, are small. The scale of this incident was blown out of all proportion by environmental organisations, which, as we know, often pursue aims unrelated to ecology because they make business out of it. They played on human emotions. All oil companies have to deal with it because oil companies are considered to be rich. Rosneft says the clean-up work goes on but these diggers removing floating booms were the only efforts we could see. And the story of this oil spill is still written all over this landscape in black ink. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Neftyugansk, Russia.